What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. It's winter, and you might get a little draft in your house, so I ordered this, uh, and I wanted to seal the bottom of some doors. Now, there's lots of ways to do that. You can get those little fuzzy uh, things, but this seemed to be a really good way to kind of seal up the bottom of some doors, particularly like the door to my attic where I get a draft in, and you can feel even the breeze coming off the, the bottom. And so this is basically a draft stopper. It seems to be made of silicone and I'm really kind of intrigued by it and I'll tell you what, right off the bat I'm kind of impressed and I'm starting to figure out how it works. So we have this white silicone and basically it already has some double-sided, what I would assume is <laughs> semi-permanent tape. It's pretty sticky, although it's maybe not quite as sticky as like automotive double-sided tape, so it might be removable, but the fact that it's already on there, that's really nice. And then what we have are Th three layers basically of silicone and they're hollow and this should be do a pretty good job I would think of blocking out you know cold air but what you can see here is that these bottom pieces are this third one is at a different level these two are basically the same so if you were to put this right on the ground maybe if I use this box here and let's say this box or the, the, the ground put that on the ground you're gonna have this extra long piece here kind of taking up the slack and working like a squeegee so when you open or close the door you're never going to have uh basically you know a breach of air and especially when you close your door like this you'll always have this kind of creating extra pressure on the floor and sealing out that draft now i will tell you what uh, uh sealing up drafts going into the winter is a fantastic way to save yourself some money. Uh, it, it is kind of amazing when I took that, uh, you know, clear shrink wrap cellophane and put it on my windows, how much my energy bills went down in the winter because of the, some of the drafts, especially on sliding doors. Those are terrible. They, they draft so much. So what we have here is I want to say probably three feet of, of material. So I'm going to say that this is probably going to, oh, uh, treat one door okay because i don't know what a door is but maybe it's three feet maybe this is maybe a little longer yeah i don't know three three 36 inches 40 inches maybe um so you're going to cut it to fit and then hopefully uh this should take care of that draft now i'm gonna like i said i'm gonna use this on my attic door so let's go ahead and install it and see if it works so if we take a look at this door you can see here we've got a pretty big gap and i can actually feel it drafting underneath here. Now this isn't the worst case in the world here, but let's apply this and see if it works. All right, all it took was a pair of scissors to trim it to the right length. And as you can see, putting it on, actually the hardest part about it is just kind of getting the height to the floor correct. And you kind of want to make sure that this edge has a little bit of overhang. So it kind of sweeps as you open it, as you can see, just like that. But now I've got a really nice seal under this door. So does it work? You bet it works. Look at that. It's a tight seal. Doesn't make opening or closing the door any harder. And now I know. Look at that. No draft. Pretty cool. I'll put a link to it in the description. It's really inexpensive. You know, about a seven or eight dollar fix for sealing up a drafty door. Check it out. Peter from Panda out.